What's up everybody, welcome back to the Second Street Marvel, I'm your host, Trinity, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing The Mall, issue number one. But before I get into that, please make sure you're subscribed, click the little bell and all of that good stuff. I talk a lot about comics, movies, and on occasion even music. So The Mall, issue number one. This book is being published by Vault Comics, and it is written by Michael Morecki, or Mor Morrissey, um, and Gary Doberman. It's drawn by Zach Hartong and colored by Addison Duke and lettered by Jim Campbell and you can see all of that right here at the very beginning of the book. Now um, this book actually takes place in a post-apocalyptic type of future. Uh, we see at the very beginning of the book that what has happened is basically um, global warming has affected the earth and just all kinds of other uh, natural disasters have happened. And uh, what happened is we see that there is a bunch of like civilization or this particular civilization has chosen to hole up inside of a mall and that is now where they are all live uh, they don't dare go outside and uh, they say that a lot a lot of that in the very beginning of the story when they're setting it up you can see that right there on the first page um, as they're telling about uh, this future but what we see is we get introduced into a few of our uh, main characters in this story at the beginning we see that there is a, a woman uh, running for her life and uh, she has a baby in tow and she gets attacked by a couple of people who eventually take their baby and then we are introduced to to another character who kind of wakes up uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere I guess not necessarily the middle of nowhere because it's in this mall and uh, he he kind of he kind of wakes up and is uh, not really all there uh, and next thing you know he has people uh, pounding on the door of whatever room he is in uh, trying to get to him and he obviously takes off running from them and uh, he ends up getting caught and we can see that this uh, this mall is actually a pretty savage place it's uh, pretty much all gang territory and uh, a lot of these people here in the mall are very territorial now I'm not exactly for sure what kind of mall this takes place in because it must be a pretty big mall to have uh, plenty of resources there for people to eat and drink and obviously live because this uh, the character here says that this has been going on for a, a couple of generations at least so um, again you know some of the things I, I'm kind of wondering what's going on here but you know I, I kind of have uh, I kind of have some ideas of exactly what might be going on here so we see that one of the characters um, is basically being accused of murder and he is being taken in to see how would you say some of the higher ups and uh, his uh, the character uh, his family seems to be pretty prominent within this mall and uh, basically it's he's somebody that a lot of people were thirsting to get their hands on um, after he committed whatever crimes that he is being accused of um, now I've got to say that this book was actually <laughs> pretty well written um, it introduced us to our characters uh, kind of set up the story and the premise of what's exactly going on here and I've got to say the art in this book I did quite like um, like I said, you can see uh, some of the things going on here, just some of the art uh, and how, you know, in, in some in some panels it, get, it gets really detailed. And then there are other panels where we can see that um, the detail isn't as high. And I don't necessarily think that that's, that's, that's always a bad thing. You can see um, even the colors that are in this book. I like... I really do like what's going on here and overall I've got to say I really did like this first issue as I said it introduced us to our characters set up the world that we're uh, that I guess they're living in and um, it gave us enough to, re to really go off of in this book uh, just it, it ends up just on a cliffhanger making me want more um, so I'll read the second issue like I said altogether I got to tell you that I really did like this series now vault comics is a smaller uh, publisher they were they are an indie publisher they were just founded in 2016 I've read several titles out of vault comics and I gotta tell you that I haven't yet read a title that I didn't like you know what what did you guys think about it did you read them all and if so what did you think about it let me know down in the comments below that's all I have for this video today folks thank you all so much for tuning into the second street Marvel today like I said if you haven't already please make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell so you get notifications anytime I have uploaded new content. What that also does is it sends you out notifications anytime I plan on doing a live video. I do live streams here every single day during the week talking about movies and I also do a show uh, on Friday evenings called The Trailer Park Live. Now if you could also do me another favor please 
um, leave all your comments down in the in the in the comments section and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down I honestly don't care but more importantly make sure you share this video with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the second street Marvel you all have a very good day happy reading go out and support your local comic book shop and we'll see you in the next video later